everybody. Welcome back to Mag the Maverick, where we talk all things well-rounded womanhood and where I try before you buy. So today we're going to be test driving an old new product, NYX Fat Lip Oils. And I call them an old new product because NYX Fat Lip Oil actually hit the market I want to say in the spring of 2023, but they've recently extended their shade range. So I have a few of them here today and we're going to try them together. So I'm actually kind of excited about this review because NYX is the first cosmetic brand that I actually kind of fell in love with. It was the first brand that I found myself wanting to try what they had next and uh, repurchasing things that I really, really loved. So about NYX, if you're somehow not familiar, NYX is a considered a drugstore brand that was actually founded on the idea of bringing department store beauty to drugstore prices. The brand was founded 25 years ago, back in 1999 by Tony Cole in Los Angeles. And it was sold to L'Oreal in 2014. In terms of the brand's manifesto, as they call it, they tout pro formulas. Their formulas are actually curated by makeup artists in LA. Their formulas are vegan and cruelty free. They are champions of diversity and they don't retouch the photos in their advertising ever, which we are a big fan of here at Mac the Maverick. So enough about Nick's the company, let's talk about these fat lip oils. So NYX Fat Lip Oils are exactly what they sound like. They give the shine of a gloss in more of a lip oil formula. NYX claims that we're going to get 12 hours of hydration from the fat lip oils, high shine, comfortable wear, and that the formula will be non-sticky. So the benefits of a lip oil with the shine of a gloss or without the drawbacks of a gloss. In terms of ingredients, the key ingredients are cloudberry oil, which I had never heard of before today, raspberry seed oil, and squalene. Cloudberry oil comes from Scandinavia and it's supposed to be kind of a super berry, especially in skincare, having vitamin C, vitamin E, omega-3 and 6 fatty acids, as well as antioxidant properties, basically protecting us from UV rays and pollution, right? Raspberry seed oil is an emollient that's also rich in vitamins A, C, and E, antioxidants and fatty acids. And then there's squalene. Squalene is a pretty proper, popular ingredient you've probably heard of in skincare because it's a great moisturizer. It's got emollient properties without leaving the skin greasy. Also, it is skin identical. As a matter of fact, squalene makes up about 12% of the sebum that your skin naturally produces. So it has a good feel. It's not gonna be greasy and it's not going to be irritating for most people. So with that being said, the NYX Fat Lip Oil comes in 14 different shades. Six of those shades are new. I have seven of the shades that were sent to me courtesy of Influencer and NYX. Thanks Influencer and NYX for sending those to me for free in exchange for my honest review. And we're gonna test drive them all today. I have two of the new shades and the other five are the OGs from the launch. So without further ado, I'm gonna test these. We're gonna talk about the wearability, comfort, the comfort and the performance, and we'll go from there. So first up in the lineup is my main, which is the clear gloss from this collection. 
not gloss, lip oil. It's not a gloss, it's a lip oil. <laughs> the clear lip drip. And I have a light layer of the Laneige lip balm on because full disclosure, I spent 45 minutes shooting this video only to find out that it wasn't recording at all. So yeah, um, here we are. But yes, our clear. So this is the fat lip applicator which is another benefit that NYX speaks to on their website. And it's kind of a doe foot applicator, sort of, kind of, but much fatter. And one thing I do like about this applicator is that unlike some other doe foots, it's kind of soft. It's firm enough for you to be able to control your application for the most part, but it's soft enough to not aggravate you using it for a while. So this is the clear. And as you can see, it looks like a gloss. It's fuller bodied than a lot of lip oils, which I like. It's not gonna like run away from where you put it, but it's definitely not greasy like a traditional gloss would be. It does feel more like a lip oil as they claimed. Not sticky, not too sticky. There's a little bit of tack there. I know y'all probably can't see that, but as I rub it in, the tack actually kind of disappears into a nice, almost moisturizer lip balm type feel. So that is the clear. So I'm gonna wipe this off. I'm actually using my Bioderma um, makeup remover for this part of the process so that I can have a clean, clean slate for each color coming behind it. I'm gonna do the two newest colors for you first. Let's do Splash of Cream, which is a honey nude. And one thing you'll notice as this applicator is coming out of the bottle, the opening is very, very narrow, but I kinda like that because you're not gonna get that gross pooling of product around the top. It actually kind of wipes the, the excess for you. So this is Splash of Cream. So I didn't know what to expect in terms of the opacity of these colors, because as you can see in the tube, you can't even see through them, but they go on quite clear. As a matter of fact, I can barely tell that Splash of Cream is even on. I don't know whether it's just kind of mimicking the natural pink of my own lip, which is kind of cool, that's not a bad thing, but just want y'all to know what to expect. Next up, Sprinkle Sprinkle, which is a deep muted rose. Yeah. And the smell of these glosses is kind of fruity, for lack of a better word. But that is the Deep Muted Rose again. Color super, super soft. I would say that it's a little cooler than Splash of Cream in terms of undertones, but about the same shade range. Very, 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 very neutral. Next up, we will do 
scrolling which is kind of a honey brown for lack of a better word it reminds me in the tube of my favorite lip oil color casually lit from uma by sharon c which that brand is now defunct and i hate it but hopefully this will be kind of similar in the neighborhood getting a little bit more color than we did with the two pinks, but still very subtle. And I realized as I'm swatching these, sure, I could have done this on my arm like most people do, but I think it's important, especially as we all come in different colors and undertones and shades, for you guys to be able to actually see what this looks like on a real person, in person, real time. And my face is not the same color as my arm. So taking one for the team. Next up, we'll get into our darker colors. We have a dark brown that is called the status update. I have another dark brown, now that I think of it, from Merit that I rarely even wear. So that status update, which it gives the color of a dark brown, but more of a subtlety. I think this is a good color for a person who might want to experiment with darker colors, but hadn't quite worked up the nerve to go all in. So this is status update, which I kind of like. And then we have our red news feed. Okay, so this red is so sheer that it almost shows up more of a candy pink like this is what it looks like in the tube and this is what it looks like on my face so i don't quite mm. i have a red lip oil that performs better than this i'll just say that the formula is nice but the color in my opinion leaves much to be desired but that being said, I feel like because these colors are so sheer, it leaves an opportunity to use them as colored toppers, which is something that I like to do from time to time if I want to add a little depth to like a matte lip or just a satin lipstick or whatever that I've already put on. If I just want to add another layer of something to it, a colored gloss is great for that. Matter of fact, this color, that chic, let's try something. I'm actually gonna test drive this since we know it's probably gonna be sheer. It's kind of a purple. I'm gonna swatch this on the back of my arm for y'all. to give you an impression of what that color looks like. And I am actually going to use it as a topper. I have the NYX Lip Pencil in Curant. And then I have my NYX Lip Lingerie in the color Sizzling. Try to be as careful with this as possible because it's dark.
And I really don't have like a nude or a pink that's not expired from NYX. So I'm just gonna use my Colored Rain Matte Lip and Mauve Rose. Let that dry for a second. And then I'm going to take my fat lip oil in that chic and I'm going to use it as a top. Bottom lip. So Adding that topper didn't just add like a layer of random color. It also helped tone down that pink, which is a little bit, that particular pink is a little obnoxious. I don't wear it often. And if I do, I wear it very carefully. But anyway, it helped to kind of tone that down and make it look a little bit more like it was a part of everything else going on and it covered a multitude of sins <laughs> in how I applied um, my liner and stuff. It wasn't perfect and the gloss kind of helped meld everything together and, and hide my mistakes. So I'm actually going to wear this the rest of the day, I got Bible study here in a little bit. And I will come back and let y'all know how this actually wore and performed over a course of several hours. And we'll go from there. In the meantime, if you are enjoying this video, go ahead and hit the like button. And if you're not already subscribed, I am personally inviting you to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so you'll know the next time that I post something. So I will see you all in a few for my final thoughts. All right, y'all, it's been six hours or so since I last saw you and I have not reapplied anything to my lips. This is the original liner and everything else from earlier. And obviously the gloss is gone. It had really about the lifespan that you would expect a gloss or lip oil to have. Maybe a little bit longer. I put it on, I actually ate some watermelon not too long after I initially applied it and it still stayed probably until maybe four hours later, it did stay a good long while, even with me eating and drinking and talking this evening. So I will say that the longevity is pretty good for the type of product that it is. And even though the shine is gone, I can still feel like the moisturization from the gloss. Remember earlier, I kind of showed you all how I could feel the tack disappear down to kind of just like a nice balmy texture. That's what it still feels like on my lips six hours later. So overall, I would say it performed well, it wore well, and Today, I have enjoyed the NYX Fat Lip Oil Drip. I will say in terms of my first impression, I do feel like I'm gonna like these colors better as toppers than standalone gloss colors. That's just me. Even the two lighter shades that we tried first, I think I will enjoy better with like a brown liner. Otherwise, they just kind of disappear into my face. 
Now they do kind of shield some imperfections that I have in my lips because they are kind of close to the color of my actual lips, but I think I will enjoy them better paired with a liner or used as a topper for another color. So I look forward to experimenting with these colors and just kind of seeing what combinations and things that I can come up with. So you guys let me know down in the comments what you think or if you have tried the NYX Fat Lip Oil Drip and yeah, until next time, do what you love, love what you do and keep at it. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.